hey guys welcome back to my channel i am so tired of parents single parents couples who kill their kids the creative ways people go about like murdering their children is just so astonishing i uh, like my, i heard about this case my grandma actually told me about it she was like you need to cover it and talk about it on your channel i was like okay i said i heard about it i think i've heard about a staple being used but that was it i didn't know how dark it was and when i say it's dark y'all it's dark we're talking about a mother and a boyfriend who is charged with torturing and killing her six-year-old boy Staple to the wall, shot with BB guns, beat to death, and they're laughing at his photos that they took of him. Just a loss of words. So let's get into it. Mom and boyfriend laughed at photos of six year old being bound to the wall using a staple gun before fatal beating. Insane, you guys. So those are the two evil, ugh, just evil people. And that is the little boy is so, I just, we have, I'm not trying to, like, I'm not talking about the home they stay in. They stay in the trailer. There's nothing wrong with this trailer home. It's a home. But I wonder if anybody heard anything because that's not a lot. It's like, it's not far at all. It's actually, look how close the next house is. So I'm wondering if it's like, was there like the police was called to check on this child? Was he in school? Was anybody like looking for him? Depending on how long the beatings like was occurring, you know, if he was missing school or anything, or if anybody noticed anything, that's what I'm saying. A 25-year-old mother in Michigan and her 32-year-old boyfriend have been arrested and accused of torturing and killing her six-year-old son who was kept in a pen, stapled to the wall, and repeatedly shot with a BB gun, among other things. Elena Rose Jennings and Daniel John were taken into custody last week and charged with one count of each of first-degree murder, child abuse, and lying to a police officer in the horrific slaying of young Giovanni Chulo. Jennings, according to authorities. According to a news release from the Oakland County District Attorney's Office, officers with the Madison Heights Police Department and emergency medical personnel at about 2.34 p.m. on July 30th responded to the family's home in the Ackles Mobile Home community off that road after Jennings called 911 and reported that her six-year-old son was not breathing. The community is about 13 miles north of Detroit. Once there, first responders said they located young Chulo, describing the victim as being unresponsive and having suffered multiple injuries. Medicals rushed the child to the hospital for treatment. Due to the severity of his condition, Chulo was subsequently transported to Children's Hospital of Michigan Stilson Specialty Center, where he died on July 31st. Now, let me hurt and first say this. I think it's so interesting and weird i don't know if it's like a thought process if it's something going on in the head of people why do these parents who killed their kids act like they didn't kill them like what is that about i'm so serious because y'all know y'all have heard about it y'all have seen them on trials they act like they're so confused when the police get there they they know they killed them i'm sorry look you know that you physically murdered that child and then you act like you didn't do anything that is the person you birth, and you and this man, the boyfriend, is like y'all are acting like I don't understand. They hide, and then they hide things. They'll take the like you know. It said he was stapled to the wall, kept in the pen. I'm pretty sure when cops was there, they didn't see any of that. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, I'm just saying. Um, this that's just what I'm thinking. But because it's like. I, I just don't understand. They they act like they're not going to find bruises. They're, they're acting like that police is not going to uncover this. They're acting like they're so innocent. And I just don't understand how people can literally make themselves believe that they didn't do anything. Or they just lie about it. It's like, I just don't understand how they can literally, they can bring themselves to say that. That's just so weird to me because I feel like you always see that happen. It's insane. Authorities said that Chulo was severely abused and beaten regularly at the hands of both Jennings and her boyfriend. They further alleged that Jennings and her boyfriend conspired to concoct a, a false story for police, claiming it was another person who was with Chulo when he suffered his fatal injuries, when in fact the victim was left in the care of the defendant, Chikana. I did not know how to say the last name, y'all. 
Oakland County Prosecutors Karen McDonald said that the circumstances surrounding Chulo's death were some of the worst to ever come through her office. After spending hundreds of hours carefully sifting through the evidence in the case, what we found can only be described as horrific, she said in the statement. Chulo was confined, beaten, and bound to the wall using a staple gun. He was badly injured, but he was not taken for medical treatment because his mom knew that a medical examination would reveal the abuse. In a news conference announcing the charges, McDonald said that the couple would restrain Chulo, forcing him to sleep on a wooden slat in the pen that was three feet long and 11 inches wide. He was also allegedly beaten regularly and had abrasions, lacerations, and bruising from the top of his head down to his chins including on his fingers. Photos taken during autopsy in Wayne County revealed Chulo had bruises and lacerations on his entire body, McDonald said. Chulo's manner of death was ruled a homicide and the cause of the death was blunt force trauma to his abdomen along with a perforated bowel after a lengthy period of confinement and abuse, she continued. Insane. Absolutely insane. I'm talking, this is one of the worst ones I've heard too, I can say it. Because I've um, seen a lot and heard a lot about like all these like different like torture cases. Y'all, how can somebody do this? I just don't understand. Why would you make a child sleep on wood? Like how would you, could like throw somebody in a cage? Like how would you beat a child? How can you not care? How can you shoot a, like a BB gun at a child? How can you shoot a child in general? How can you look at that like child and like just say mean things and just berate them and like treat them like they're nothing? The baby you pushed, mind you, you treat that child like you, she treated that child like she didn't care. And I said this in another video and I'll say it again. This is a case of a woman not wanting him, a woman who probably was forced to have him, the dad's not around, so he didn't probably didn't care about the child, so she had to like, be left with him. And it's always sad for the child because you have a, a person who don't want you and you're forced to stay there. Now, I've been wondering where do family members be like during this stuff? Do nobody ever care or try to check on the child or, you know, you know, and she don't and she probably told people she never wanted the baby and she had like to keep like to keep the child. But but there there is also cases where people just don't keep in contact with family. But it's so sad. And then what if nobody even knew she had a child? There's so much. It's so sad because this little boy had no chance being the death by both of these people both of these horrible human beings and i'm just so shocked like why would you staple a child to a wall and then beat him like he died from so much pain these cases i'm covering now they're being like there's so much they're getting darker man and i don't even know what to say about like it's only so much i can say about this one because i'm just at a loss of words this was like the more that they was going on it was just as as bad as I'm talking about beat to the top of his head down to his legs. Like I just don't understand how somebody can do that to a, a child, another any other human being. The baby is so tiny, six year olds. He's that's not tall. Like I just saw somebody bring their take their child home from school. I'm just like they look so precious. I was looking out the window, but I'm like, people, kids are so precious. Why are they taking lives like this? I just, it really do say something about humanity. It's a lost cause. It's gone. It's a lost cause. People literally don't need kids. And if you don't want kids, you try hard to like not have it then. Because if, if you don't, if you don't want to be a mom, don't be one. And I know things happen, and if that happen, you give that child up. Because these kids are forced, they are being forced to stay home, like stay at the homes. And like I said earlier at the beginning, I wonder if anybody noticed anything or if they had welfare checks. But when this stuff happened, like they said, he didn't, they didn't take him to the hospital because they knew they would get caught. It's like they wanted to inflict pain on that little boy. It's insane. McDonald said investigators also uncovered a trove of incriminating materials on the couple's electronic device, including videos of the victim being shot with a BB gun and stuck to the wall using a staple gun. Both Jennings and her boyfriend laughed about the photo. And Jian China, I got his name, I really can't say that, use of the staple gun to solve, quote, the problem, McDonald said. The couple is 
being held without bond. They are scheduled to appear in court again on August 21st, which I need to get an update. So I'm going to do an update for you guys with this case. I'm going to um, like do another video on this and I'll put this on a list to double check to make sure I don't forget because I want to know. I want to know everything. I want to know when that trial is happening because when I do it, I'm going to react to that and I'm probably going to react to it live. Um, this was so freaking and this was so sick. How? can you do that to your child i don't care if you don't want that child i'm sorry she only saw red and he did what he wanted to i'm talking about how do you have two people that are so much alike living together taking care of a child that they don't want not taking care of him obviously but like okay with beating him taking recording videos of him being shot how can you physically look at that little boy on the wall crying possibly mouth um shut with like tape look at him being shot with guns by this man the child you bird by the way and taking a recording and both laughing that is insane she's a psycho he's a psycho i'm talking about you got two psychos living together that's insane i'm talking about disgusting i say everybody's scum but they're beyond it y'all they're they're there they are they are there oh my god i'm talking about this case really made me mad anything with kids make me mad i'm talking about he was tortured to death he was tortured to death and that's why i'm doing an update with this case because i want to know if there was like um did welfare be like were they being called did he go to school did neighbors hear anything i just know that somebody had to hear something next door there has to be there there was no way that this these people were that quiet and that like on low the low radar because it sounded like they was doing this for a while it's like it just happened on july 30th so and he was taken to the hospital i believe july 31st but it was in july so that just, that's so recent and they just had a court trial or a court date or whatever to be in court to most likely be on the with no bail hopefully on the um august 21st i need to see an update on this y'all i'm definitely putting this one on here this was so insane so sad for the little boy he did not deserve this nobody deserves to die nobody deserves to be tortured kids do not deserve to die they need to live their long lives let's switch the roles and put those people let's torture them how about that because i'm so tired of these parents who don't deserve kids they don't so on that note i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's so insane the stuff that's happening nowadays like 2024 has been a year of some insane cases and we're there it's becoming up there we can't never just have a normal year it's sad so on that note once again i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment share subscribe stay safe stay aware stay alert always and i'll let you guys go and i'll see you on another video bye